According to the Rwanda Economic Update published by the World Bank, the country's economy expanded by 10.9% in the first nine months of 2019, compared to 8.2% growth in the same period of 2018. With a special focus on digitalizing Rwanda, the World Bank experts say that more private sector-led digital economic growth needs to be encouraged, starting with greater digital adoption among small and medium enterprises. Government is really invested in this agenda and really committed to supporting digitization. Uh, but the, the uptake of digital solutions, of tools, of digital business models in the private sector has been way more modest. So the private sector more generally in, in, in Rwanda is characterized by you know, micro, small and medium sized enterprises. And these, these, uh, these companies, they're, they're, not using, they're not using digital finance, they're not, using the, they're not accessing the digital marketplace. And so really it starts at that very basic level in, in bringing more businesses online to also create then opportunities of business to business solutions tailored at Rwandan businesses. So it's kind of a, you know, you need to start small and it's mutually reinforcing, but the private sector definitely has a larger role to play in the Rwandan context because we see that they haven't really uh, spearheaded digitization as much as the, as, uh, the public sector has. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of ICT and Innovation, Claudette Irere, said that though the government has invested in the necessary infrastructure to fast-track digitalization, the public needs to be empowered with skills and tools in order to make use of the available digital platforms. The government, you know, um, the, the government's role in any when you're when you're starting and boosting a new sector is to ensure that you build a, a conducive environment. You know, for anyone, you know, private sector, and anyone, the citizens, to start, you know, using that. And so, right now, the driver we're in is to ensure the citizens, at large, private sector, uh, civil society, they are aware of these infrastructure that we're put in place, and then. How can they leverage that? What kind of solutions can they build on top of these? And then also ensuring that citizens have access to, one, skills and, and um, tools that allow them to now start consuming and enjoying uh, these services. Though the country's economic growth is impressive, the World Bank says that the country's public debt has been steadily rising since 2013, adding that by the end of 2019, the public debt stood at 58.5% of the GDP. This increase was attributed to fiscal expansion plans carried out by the government to ensure greater access to infrastructure in the country. Fatima Tessi reporting for RTV, Kigali.